welcome back to some Black Christ Mary content. Today we're going to be taking a moment to take another look at the back of this house. And what I mean by that is, is right now we have the door up and we need a ramp. And this ramp is going to be really important. It needs to be able to take a decent amount of weight. It needs to be able to face the weather. And it also needs to be where it's structured to where it's never going to have to be moved again. Um, this is a part of the haunt that will most likely never change. As far as like just the ramp itself. Um, this has to be there so that way people can come in, out, out the house safely and into the next section of the haunt. Um, so with that being said, we're going to be taking a look at getting that built today. And we're also going to be taking a look at getting some uh, river rock and some pea gravel down to make a little path. So we're going to be making the ramp look like a uh, corral. Um, and that will not only structure it to where no one can get out of it or fall off, but it will also make it to where it doesn't wobble or anything like that. So it will be very much structured. But alright everyone, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Ooh.
everybody. So after a long time, one of the, in fact, the longest project running at Bloodcrest Manor is finally completed. And we we have taken something that looked like this and turned it into this. Now, when I say this is one of the longest running projects at Bloodcrest Manor, the first thing, and I mean before we even bought the house, the first thing we did was came back here, I bought two pieces of marine plywood and covered up the hole in this wall. Uh, and at that time, I thought to myself, man, why would you ever just cut a hole in the back of a house like this? Like, who would do something like that? And I heard many rumors and stories, and eventually I found out the truth from the person who actually did it. And um, once you hear the reasoning, the house was going to be bulldozed, there was a nice china cabinet in here that was sent a mill to him. And uh, at that point, it wasn't really a worry of damaging the house because it was just going to be demolished anyway. That makes you kind of understand why. But with that being said, this was the first major issue we addressed. Uh, we put a band-aid fix over it for a while. We got the entirety of this room cleaned out, discovered the basement. So many things have happened between then and now. It's really mind-boggling for me to think about it. I really appreciate everyone who watches the episodes, likes, and comments. It really does help out the channel, and I'm really appreciative of that. Um, if you guys could just let us know how you think we did on this project, I personally am very happy with it, but maybe you'd have done something different. Let us know in the comments below, and I'll be talking to you here next time. Ooh.